Good morning, Snippets. So today is Monday, and it's the beginning of a long work week. Oh, man. <laughs> so today is the day that I start my new summer classes at MCC. I start my golf class, my figure and weight control class, and my physics class today. And they're all online, just like my mini-mester was. So I'm gonna have to try and do most of it at work, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of worried about it because I, like, I... May I took like a preview of them yesterday, and it just seems like there's a lot involved, but I mean, I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. I just, it's gonna be a lot different than my theater class, which is really laid back. It was kind of like all like do-it-yourself, whereas these kind of seem more regimented, so I'm like a little nervous about it, but it's gonna be okay. So um, I need to get ready for work, and then I'm gonna be at work from 8 to 5, and then in the evening I don't have any plans. And so hopefully, maybe I can like get to catching up on life a little bit when I get back. Like maybe I can unpack some, because I still haven't done that yet. Or maybe I can like catch up on some reading. I don't know. I need to just like catch up on something tonight and not fall asleep as soon as I get back. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm all ready to go. I've got my stuff packed. My backpack is super heavy now because I've got my physics textbook and workbook and my uh, golf textbook and my health or my, like, my weight control blah 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 textbook in my backpack, plus my clothes to change into, plus my laptop and its cord, and whenever I get it from the kitchen, the, my breakfast, and all the other miscellaneous things, my Bible and my journal, like, I've got so much in my backpack, and it's so heavy, and it makes my bike ride so miserable, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> Ooh, my bike ride was substantially more difficult today, because my backpack is so heavy, but I made it here, made it here one piece. So now I'm gonna go to work, get changed. It's like just now eight o'clock. Well, it's about to be, the bell hasn't rung yet. But I need to change, get ready, and try and do as much school as I can today. And while also getting work done, there's the bell. I gotta go, I'm tired. Okay, so I was given this licorice with the premise that it's not as good tasting as it looks. That's not exactly the best thing to say if you want me to try something, so my director gave this to me. It's like Dr. Pepper licorice, and I'm afraid to taste it. I don't, I don't really want to, but I'm trying to start schoolwork and edit Alamad, but my internet has all of a sudden died, so I have to figure out why that's not working. It's not working on my phone either, so I'm thinking it's like a, a universal problem, so I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't, should I try, I'm gonna try this, hold on. Okay, it's not that bad. It tastes like Dr. Pepper and licorice, which is what it is. It's not that bad. Not the greatest, but it's not that bad. So anyway, I need to try and get these, and this internet to work so that I can get to my school assignments because I need to do it all before I leave today. Okay, so I'm on my lunch break right now, and I'm, I'm really not that hungry. So, okay, so my boss told me that she thinks that we might get our meal cards tomorrow. But, like, she's having a meeting tomorrow with the people like in charge of it and she's gonna ask if we can get them tomorrow. So I don't have it today. So I was thinking about going to the sub and getting food, but I'm not that hungry. But maybe that means that I won't spend that much when I'm in the sub, which is a plus. So I don't know, I might run to the sub and grab something because I have like a few dollars, not a lot, but something else that all of a sudden sparked my interest today is I've, so I've had a couple of friends that have done this and I've always slightly pondered the thought of doing the Disney college program it's like an internship that you do at either Disneyland or Walt Disney World. And uh, you do it <clears throat> either for the fall or the spring or the summer. And you take classes and you work for Disney for X amount of time. So I was thinking, like, what if I did it next summer? Because I couldn't probably do it during the fall or the spring because now that I'm in linguistics, like, it's such like a Baylor regimented thing. And especially with, like, languages, it'd be hard to take a break for like a semester because they don't really offer anything like that at Disney. So uh, if I, I thought about doing it like the summer program next summer, I have a couple of friends that are doing it right now and some friends that have done it in the past and they've all loved it. It's been amazing for them. So I thought like what if I do it next summer and I take like, uh, I was looking at some of the classes that they offer and like I could do stuff like leadership, like I could take leadership classes or something which would definitely be helpful. Uh, with like me being a peer leader and everything and so I don't know it's just something that I've pondered so I'm like perusing through the website and so if this ever ends up being a thing let me know that this was the first day that I like seriously contemplated it so anyway uh, I think I'm gonna go to the sub really fast and grab something to eat and then come back and I haven't even started my schoolwork yet so 
Hmm, I'm gonna try and get that to that in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, so I just picked up lunch. I got, I actually just got a chicken sandwich and fries and a Snapple. Nothing else, like no apples, no chips, like, cause I'm not really very hungry. So I know there's like a cat right here. I don't know what this cat's doing, but I'm gonna follow it up this hill so I can go in the back door. I don't know what it's doing. Bye cat. But yeah, I'm not really very hungry, so I didn't get much, but I'm gonna eat this and then try and get to some school work so I feel good about myself today. Okay, so I realized that my my small stint with wanting to do the Disney College program has been shut down because they don't have a summer program for like first time uh, that like participants and I can't do like a full semester so that dream died very quickly but you know it's gonna be like it's fine it was just like a short thing but anyway so I also found out today that I don't have online access to my physics class which I need to do all my assignments and stuff so uh, I'm asking like and I don't have any money to buy it it's $66 for access to the online portion so I'm like asking them around family members like can I borrow some money so I can buy my access to this class because I have to have it like today so I'm kind of freaking out but I, I, I don't I, I, it's gonna be okay it'll be alright I just need to breathe it's gonna be okay I'm running an errand for work and I'm driving the mule right now and I'm filming and this is dangerous I'm in like a golf cart thing type thing right now and it doesn't go very fast, but this is the only thing I'm authorized to drive because I can't drive any of the company vehicles because of stupid rules. Anyway, so I'm allowed to drive this mule though, and it's a lot of fun to just like peruse around campus. I had to deliver a check to the Slick for my last uh, project graduation, so. Okay, so I just got off of work. I didn't do as much like schoolwork, like getting done stuff as I would have liked, but I did like spend a lot of time organizing how I'm gonna go about doing my classes and writing down all my due dates and stuff and everything. So, I do feel good about that. S someone, I don't know if someone's waving to me or not. I can't tell. Uh, so, I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. Okay, um, I, is that somebody I know? Someone's like, I think someone's waving at me. Okay, well, oh, okay, yeah, someone is calling me, hold on. Okay, so I was right, I was being yelled at. <laughs> Uh, Kelly and Mand and Christina were over there and we just had a chat. Is that, is that them? Is that, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. Bye! Yeah, they were yelling at me. So we just talked for a few minutes. Now I got a bike home. Like I was, oh yeah, so like I was saying, I didn't get as much like schoolwork done as I wanted to, but I got a lot of organizational stuff done, like planned out my tests and everything. So that was good, but it's hot. I'm on bike home now. Okay, I made it home for my bike ride. Wow, I've never sweat that much post bike ride before. So, it is definitely getting so hot outside. It's definitely summer. In the morning when I left, like the past few, like last week, I think in the mornings whenever I left, it would be like mid 50s, maybe like 60s. And now, when I left this morning, it was like 73, which isn't hot, but it's not great for like 8 a.m. weather, because when I was riding home, it was like 95, which again, isn't bad, but whenever you're riding your bike home in that for 15 minutes, it gets really hot and Wow, so yeah, I'm tired. So, whew, I almost tripped over my backpack. I'm all sorts of crazy. So I need to change, cool off, cool down, and get to doing some homework. I don't have much time to relax tonight because I need to try and do homework so that I can get to unpacking, possibly, I don't know. Um, Grant and Zeb and I are having to establish up tonight. I think we've decided we're gonna have them on Monday evenings because Tuesday and Wednesday I have a uh, dwelling place and life group and Grant has Bible studies on Thursdays, and Fridays I have feast. So, and Zeb's pretty much open all the time, so Zeb is the good person in this. <laughs> so I think we're gonna be having them on Mondays, around eight-ish, depending on like when Grant gets done with dinner. So, I'm gonna be having discipleship sometime tonight, so I need to finish all my school stuff before then, so that after discipleship, I can go to bed pretty much straight away if I can. And it's almost six, it's like 5.50 right now. So, I'm gonna see how much I can get done in the next two hours. Whew, I'm so tired. Oh. Okay, so I've cooled down and relaxed a little. And I went into the mailbox and I checked for uh, the, the pictures that Grant said that he sent like a week ago. Because I thought it's been a long time and they haven't arrived yet. So I'm going to check the mailbox and they weren't there. And I texted him and he was like, oh yeah, my parents haven't sent it yet. I was like, oh. Okay, because I was just like freaking out because like he said he sent it a long time ago and he kept asking if I had received it. So I was worried that I hadn't gotten it yet. 
but it's okay because his parents haven't sent it yet so I think they're sending it tomorrow or something I don't know so uh, I I also found out today that his package made it to his house and it said it made it there like early this morning at like 8 or 9 and I checked the USPS tracking and it said it sent really really early I thought I was supposed to get there on Wednesday but Apparently I got there today, and since he got there so early in the morning, I kept waiting for Grant to text me about it, and like he never said anything, so I was like, did I send it to the right address? I was like, oh no, because I kind of just made the assumption that I, because like, the how I got his address was I like, on the day that we checked out of Brooks, I took his like, his checkout form, because it has his address on it, and I like swiped it, and I wrote it down on my phone, <laughs> and so I was just going off of that, and I thought, what if he moved since then, or like, what if that's not his address? And so since I hadn't heard from him all day about it, I was freaking out. And then like 10 minutes ago, he texted me and he sent me a picture. He's like, what is this? And so he got the package and I think he's going to wait till Wednesday to open it because that's when his birthday is. So uh, I know it wasn't much, but I wanted to send him something because he deserves it. So anyway, uh, so he's got that. But right now I, I am doing so bad. So I heated up five corn dogs and I'm eating a banana. And as part of my health class, we have to document what I'm eating. And so I'm like writing down everything that I ate today. And it's so bad. Like, it, like I'm so over my limit for today. And the day's not even over. I can't, like, I'm not allowed to eat anything else today. I've had a lot of water, which is good. And I worked out for 30 minutes with my bike ride. So that, I mean, that counts for something. But wow, like seeing the numbers in front of me, it's really depressing. I need to eat so much better. But I'm going to watch uh, the one episode on Netflix because it's the last episode of Squid Girl because there's only 12 episodes and I'm on episode 12. <laughs> and so it's going to end. So I'm going to eat dinner and watch Squid Girl and then do things productive, I promise. Well, I finally finished Squid Girl. I finished the 12th episode, and now the series is over. I'm really sad. Like, I originally started watching it just kind of like, kind of like as a joke. Like, what is this show that keeps popping up on my Netflix that they say they think I would like? But I got really attached to the story, and even though it was like a really short story, I just, I really liked it. And now I'm feeling really sad that it's over, because the last episode was really sentimental, because in the last episode, Squid Girl goes back to the ocean, and they never see her, and then everyone gets really sad, and then like a year later, she, she comes back, and then at the end, she's like there, and she stays, and it was just so, it made my heart feel so good, and now I'm really sad. <laughs> But anyway, getting out of anime, uh, I need to start <clears throat> doing some stuff productive. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I need to do something school related so I feel good about myself and tonight before discipleship. <laughs> okay, found it. Oh, it's because I, I didn't see because I was zoomed in on Caleb's face, not yours, sorry. Oh. Mm. I suppose oh. not on three. Cool. So, um, what rhymes with boot and comes from trees? Uh, 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 um, fruit. Fruit! No, oh. toots. What? That doesn't make that doesn't that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's fruits, and that is oh, Caleb disappeared. Anyways, what? He's still there. Okay, there he goes. He's back. He's back. I'm here. Okay. He disappeared to me. Today's chapter we're gonna go over is called fruitful life. Wait, where is that? It's under the growing in my relationship with Jesus category. It's in the last section. Oh, I found it. Wait, I found the section. Where's the... Like, the 10th one from the last one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of difficult to find because... Wait, what's it called? Fruitful life. For, fruitful life. For giving others, fighting the enemy. Fruitful life. Found it, found it. Yeah, found it. joy. <laughs> Yay. Second. Okay, so I just had a really long Google Hangout call with Grant and Zeb, um, and it's now like a little bit before 10, 
and I don't know like what I should do now. It's weird because I still have Google Hangout open and my my image is still open in the corner so I see myself vlogging. This is weird. But I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I think I'm gonna look and make sure that I don't have any like assignments due like I don't have I know I don't have anything to do tonight, but I don't know like how early things are due tomorrow. So I wanna check that and then I need to read and then get ready for bed because it's already getting kind of late and I promised myself that I would start going to bed at reasonable times in my life so I need to take care of that. Okay so something really exciting just happened so I just got an email and I checked it and it's actually my housing assignment for next year so I already knew what room I was going to be in I'm going to be in a room down the hall from the one I was in this past year but it also I also just found out my roommates are going to be and two of them added me on Facebook and it was actually they both added me on Facebook and I got like I got two people that added me um while I was doing discipleship with Grant and Zeb, and I, uh, I just ignored it. I was like, who are these randos that are adding me on Facebook? I, I actually thought that they might have been, like, YouTube, like, fans. And, like, it's, it's stupid to say that, like, I, I sound kind of pretentious saying, like, oh, my fans are trying to add me on Facebook. But, like, it's actually happened before. Like, people on YouTube have added me on Facebook before, and I've had to not add them because I don't know them. And so I almost denied them, but I saw that one of them had an association through Baylor, so I was like, okay, well, I must know them somehow or something. Maybe they're coming to Baylor or something. So I added them, and then I checked the email, and these two randos that added me on Facebook are my new roommates. So, um, one of them is my roommate, one of them is my sweet mate. I don't know who my other sweet mate is. I don't think he has a Facebook from what I've gathered, because I've already creeped on the other two, so... Surprise. Yeah. Um, and I'm about to send everyone an email being the obligatory, like, hi, my name is, like, first message. And of course, like, whenever they add me, I, I, my Facebook needs updating because, like, my stuff is still, like, old from, like, Sing. And of course, like, the first thing they see when they add me is this picture that I posted on Instagram today. <laughs> like, that's a great first impression, Caleb. That's awesome. Way to go. <laughs> but that's exciting now that I know who my roommates are. So now we can communicate and hopefully be friends over the summer. And I found out that my, uh, my roommate, I think he was drum major of, of his band in high school. So we're already best friends <laughs> and i think that my uh the other sweet mate was also in band so we all have that common so that's nice that's a nice common ground i don't know about our fourth roommate though i don't know who he is or what his story is but i guess we'll find out <laughs> okay so i just sent all of my new roommates an email and i spent like 45 minutes or something like composing it because I'm, I'm so i'm so lame i'm dumb <laughs> but uh, i don't know it's like i wanted to make a good first impression i guess because like i am two years older than I think all three of them are. I don't know about my fourth one very much. Um, only two of them added me on Facebook. I don't know if the third one has a Facebook or not. But <clears throat> I just feel like I want to be a good example for them. And I want, to, I want them to feel like they can rely on my knowledge of Baylor to help them with this transition. Because that's the whole reason why I wanted freshman roommates is so that I can, you know, help at least if like three more students transfer into Baylor really well so that's my hope anyway so I sent them an email I don't know when they'll respond or if they'll respond or even if they even check their Baylor emails yet <laughs> but I don't know it's it's exciting and I hope that we can continue to bond over the summer and maybe get to be friends next year that would be nice <laughs> Okay, so I've actually gotten ready for bed now, and I'm going to read a little bit and then actually go to sleep, but my goal tonight is to not fall asleep on that couch because I haven't slept in my bed in three nights because I've fallen asleep on that couch the past three nights in a row. So my goal is to actually go to bed in my bed tonight, <laughs> but I'm going to read for a little while and then hopefully go straight to bed. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, I've done my reading, and now it's time for me to go to sleep, so I will see you guys tomorrow for at least another minute. Good night.